Hi guys, here I am again, Stineke from Steen Art. Today I want to use up some Collal Bookbinders glue I still had from previous time when I always using was using this, but it's very expensive here in Holland, so I went over to the Artist Junior and it's just as good as this. But since I have something left in the container, I thought you have to use it too. So I want to finish that container. So today we are going to do a pour with the bookbinders glue. I have all kinds of paints from Artina in Amsterdam and I have in my white the satin animal. I want to try to get some clouds again. I want to pour in a puddle, puddle. And I want to hold up my canvas a little bit. I think I'm going to need some right here at the top too. I hope that's enough. And then we're going to see what's happening. It's uh, kind of blues and pink and turquoise and dark blue. And I only did some silicone uh, in the purple and in the dark blue. Now I want to hold up my canvas just a little bit. So it's going to be just like a little bit like a waterfall pour. I made my paints a little bit thicker than I'm used to be. And now, yeah, wait and see what's happening, I should say. I want to go up a little bit and going down without that I had noticed it. I'm just searching for some clouds, you can say. The cloud effect from the satin animal. And I'm always seems to lose my white. And I believe now I have too much white. Well, we never are satisfied. I believe my cup is empty. Oh, I'm going to hold up my canvas a little bit so it can flow to the bottom slowly. And I want to put some paint over my corners. Yes, I'm there. Clean up my fingers a little bit. And pull off my glasses. From up close, I see better without my glasses. I believe I see beautiful colors. My ratio is um, one part paint, one part of my mix from the Colal uh, Bookbinders glue I do. 60% um, glue, 40% water, and then one on one. And then when I need the right consistency, I thin it with some water with a little bit of float roll in it. Like uh, 230 milliliters of water and 20 milliliters of float roll in a bottle. That's where I thin my paint when I need to write consistency. I believe I have it from uh, Gina De Luca. She does that too. It has to do with the 
elasticity of the paint, something like that. I really don't know if that's the right word for it. Well, I'm going to try and do something to make this look more beautiful. It feels that I have enough paint and I want to go up. Go a little bit in the corner and go that way. going back and touch it a little bit and then see what I can do if I need to do more I think because I feel I have a lot of paint still on the canvas I wanted to have that upper side a little bit in the middle but I don't think that's going to happen. I need to get the clothes off and I need a torch. I only had silicone in uh, two colors. I'm always forgetting I have a heat gun now. Well, let's go over it with a heat gun too. See what we bring up. It is a little bit like wings. I'm coming there. It's not, not quite like I want, but I know it needs a lot of practice. I think it still needs some tilting because of uh, the paint. I put on some more gloves. Needs a second. There's a lot of gold from the Amsterdam here and here the dark blue, the purples. I'm afraid when I tilt more my dark blue will uh, disappear. But when I don't, there's much too much on my painting. Much too much paint on my painting, I need to say. And that's a shame too. As far as this goes, I'm very satisfied. I show it to you from up close and I hope you like it as much as I like it too. And I'm, I think I'm not going in with my balloon. Hi guys, here it is. Now you see, beautiful colors. Some cells, the black is coming through. I 
have a little bit of paint left. Maybe I'm going to try again. This looks very nice too. Well, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm still uh, back after uh, I cleaned up my painting. Uh, the sides, I spilled a drop of white water on it, so I put my, of course, my balloon on it. And I put it away. And then I had the crazy idea for the leftovers. Why don't you make a purple puddle? I need to do on, put on more light, I think, so you can see better. Yes, because it's getting dark outside. Why don't you put on a purple puddle? So I have some purple left. I wanted to place it here. And just go in with the flow and see uh, what's happening. I want to put a little bit of white next to it too. Just to see and go with the flow. I'm curious what will happen. Well, maybe you think she's crazy. That's okay too. Sometimes crazy things get in my mind and then I want to do them. I make a, again, a cup of paint. Well, let's go there. See what's going to happen. I'm trying to stay above here and not wandering down. Maybe I use too much white this time. Well, if I want to get some wings or some cloud effect, I need white, I thought. So put in a lot of white. Maybe my paint needs to run a little bit faster. So I put my canvas a little bit more up. My cup is almost empty. Let it go down a little bit. Stop. Now I want to put on the last bit of paint I still have ready on the corners. This is still with the, with the leftovers from the color all um, Call our bookbinders glue. That was a, too expensive for me. I'd rather buy some more paint than glue. Because I know now there is a cheaper one who does just this beautiful work. Well, oh, you see, always things happening. It's better when I'm not talking, I think. Put on some purple here. Maybe this is not going to work out. We'll see. I'm sure you have done things, done things too. Sometimes that did not work out. not going to see this purple again because I have to tilt. I don't know what I'm going to do with that spot, but there's always the balloon of course. Well, I'm going to try something.
I'm also wanting to try to keep something from this here in the upper side. Maybe I need to do it like this. I didn't go down. Wow, not too much. get that nasty spot off now I'm putting it down at first I'm do something with that corner like this wash my hands now I need to get some paint over that corner there's still enough paint on the canvas so let's try something and it did mm. well this is nice too even when I pour in a purple puddle, I did not see anything. Maybe you can see this or it's from the pouring. Well, now I won't forget I have my heat torch. Go over with it first. My paints are empty now. I don't really stop so I can make new ones for another project. Well, there were only pet silk, need I say, in a purple and blue. Maybe it's because of my heat starch. There is coming a lot of little cells, so I don't mind, I like them. Well, this is it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put you down so you can see it up close. Well, guys, you see all these little cells. That was I uh, not counting on, but I still like it. I always like cells. Little and big. Maybe I can stretch them a little. We'll see. For now, I say goodbye, and do I get an idea in a minute, then I'll let you see the results. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.